Gentlemen, welcome to another commentary done by Digby. This is going to be another game from the New York land, Starcon NYC land, organized by Zen, who is just a fantastic human being. That's what I got to say. Upper left hand corner, we've got Erdmon starting as the mustard yellow Zerg. Bottom right hand corner, we have Neon Sword starting as the pink Terran. Neon Sword is a very strong Terran player, but I think Erdmon, especially what he showed at this tournament, is uh, at least in his ZVT. A superior player. We'll see if that ends up being the case and that prediction holds. This is going to be on Vermeer. It's a more macro oriented map. There are opportunities to pull some shenanigans and make stuff happen. But I will say uh, Urban was looking sharp against Terran. He had, he had a couple spots where he was uh, flagging a little bit in his mid game. But that's just kind of what it is for Zerg. I think you're just trying to survive and find space to find some place to macro up. One comment that was made from the Terran across the board uh, Nesh, Artosis, everybody was, you're hard to kill, which is a big compliment for Zerg. And he's saying, yeah, that's the, you notice that that was kind of the pro's way of doing things as well. Which I will say, I feel like that is kind of, when I think of Soma, when I think of Sulky and their ability to win games versus Terran, it does seem to be like the be impossible to kill is the uh, MO of Zerg who are doing well these days. That or just have amazing macro and other skills like hero initial barracks being plopped down scv gonna start scouting up top or right overlord heading to the top or top right location we are seeing an 11 hatch here from urban close to a 12 hatch <coughs> overall but gonna go for that economic opener and sending out a scouting drone is he gonna go cross position with it looks like he's headed to the bottom left here initially might find this SCV. So this is two SCV moving out for Neon Sword. He wants to try to confirm. This leads me to believe he wants to try to confirm that it's that 12 hatch so we can go ahead and get that command center down and maybe skip that initial marine. Let's see if he tries to skip that uh, that initial marine regardless. Seeing that drone, I think he's got to know that... Oh, he might get aggressive with this as well. So he's got two SCV now heading up that direction. But has not produced the initial marine. Now he's dropping a barracks behind that drone path. So being a little bit cheeky here. Very clever. So still building a marine out of this barracks. Let's see if Erdmon falls for this. But keeping that SCV active. And moving out into the front. So we've got a weird delayed proxy barracks. For the second racks out in the field. And so Neon Sword wants to try to play more aggressive here to start. We'll see how many Zerglings get produced initially. Right now, no larva available to build initial Zerglings. Drone getting pushed off the front, but Neon Sword moving an SCV down to act. And actually, he might still build... No, he, he's playing as though he's dropping that command center, showing all the information to Urban, but Urban not falling for it. He's sticking nearby, waiting for that command center drop, and seeing that that command center is not dropping, and that he's being pushed off by these Marines. That's got to be sending red flags. And yeah, he's trying to get an angle on that ramp. So let's see if he sniffs something. Still doesn't have Zerglings out in the field. He is teching straight to Lair. But in the meantime, we've got a Marine that's been produced and an SCV still hanging out here bottom left and another unit coming in. And that drone trying to confirm that that command center is done. We do have Zergling speed being produced, but still no Zerglings. And additional being produced in that drone. Yeah, now getting pushed back. And the Marines chasing this down, that might provoke. Yeah, so we got six Zerglings now in production with metabolic speed. Still no, nothing here. So it's going to be a faster attempt at a break on the front door off two barracks and an academy. So it'll be interesting because you're going to have Marines coming from a multitude of directions. And the point is, is to try to hit that before the Spire timing. It looks like an extractor being built. Another drone moving out to maybe cap the 9 o'clock, or let's see if they search out here. Moving bottom left is still not going to see everything, and now the Zergling's out of position to help defend that natural expansion. More Marines making the way across, so now seeing that troop and seeing the movement, let's see if that, and some fire bats behind this, some, a few additional Zerglings being produced. The, this Overlord is now going to see the Marines coming in, and now it is emergency mode. We do have a creep colony being built, but it is not in time. So the Zerglings need to fall back and engage. Drones pulled. 
Zerglings getting us around. A bunker attempting to be built on the front. That something colony decently damaged. The Zerglings and the drones have been able to mix things up thus far, but you've got medics. And keep in mind, fire bats are not going to be that far behind it. It looks like that bunker is going to finish. Group attack on the Sutton Colony. The drones trying to attack the Marines right there. The Sutton Colony not standing for long. A slew of Zerglings being produced. But a lot of Marines got taken out by the drones. Between all of that and that bunker currently not in range of the hatchery. Spire just finished. Additional Zerglings being produced. Trying to draw the units off so the Zerglings aren't running straight into the fire. It looks like they are going to survive. Now, looks like the Overlord bottom left is going to find where those additional units are being produced. But unfortunately for Neon Sword, that bunker is not in range to take out this hatchery. And he doesn't have a lot of attack forces where he's going to feel confident enough to dive into this. The Firebat stimming forward without medic support. Looking to engage this. Now getting on top of that creep colony. Another creep colony being dropped. Firebats have been wiped out. And the Marines, there's only two Marines left in that bunker. So solid defense from Urbmon overall. More Marines trying to gather up. This is still two barracks production, still no expansion. And the Zerglings have snuck through the lines now for Urban, and this could be a disaster for Neon Sword, as first of all, oh, it's gonna end up losing a medic that was trying to make its way ac across. He had to lift off that barracks. And now he, first of all, doesn't have a natural expansion up. He doesn't have an engineering bay in place and Mutalisks very rapidly are gonna be on the ground or in the air, I should say to wreck his base absolutely everywhere. He's got no anti-air defense right now. You got a medic and an SCV blockading the way. The medic, unfortunately, on the wrong side of that, he wanted the SCV to start to try to blockade that. And now even fewer defense forces to help engage the main. <clears throat> so now let's see what Erdman opts to do. He's economically been a little bit hurt. Neon Sword technically has the supply lead. He's seen this barracks making its way across, but the Mutalisks are in flight, heading towards the main. Engineering Bay being built in emergency mode. Urban can hold with these two Sutton colonies currently. A second bunker being placed, but again, that's not going to range. And with this, these six Mutalisks are going to be unopposed at the main. So Urban dropping some additional creep colonies. He knows he can start mining at the natural expansion at will. Stopping the additional SCV production is going to halt any turret production by stopping that engineering bay. And now Neon Sword's economic lead is going to completely disappear, trying to stim forward, but there's something colonies and Mutalists overhead. And I don't think this is, well, might be enough to at least get up the ramp, but I don't think it's gonna be enough to win or breach the worker count now even. Single Marine manages to make it into the main. That medic is out of energy, however. And also that Sutton Colony that was built forward, now ranging that bunker. Marine and drones able to defend, wipe out everything else. And simultaneously, though, the worker count has plummeted. It looks like double barracks cancellation for Neon Sword. That is going to be GG. Nice attempt. But unfortunately, is not going to be sufficient. Now it's just a cleanup operation for Urban. More, oh, it looks like a fire bat man it managed to get in the main and drop Urban a few unit count, but unfortunately the Mutalist is still there, able to defend, and Zerg just rebuilds a lot more rapidly. Urban drawing a lot of this back. Not sure that he needs to, only three SCV remaining. This is this is game at this stage. That was clever on the Unsword, actually. It looks like he just built the fire bats out of the main, trying to get turrets <coughs> to defend here at the natural. That is not going to be sufficient. Uh, honestly, yeah, this is kind of, this is a turn, uh, this is, I don't want to say this is, this isn't a bad-mannered one. This is uh, a defensive, this is the tournament life thing, but Neon Sword gonna GG right there. Hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. Thanks for listening.